Here we are at Trace Deadman Memorial Woods in somewhere in Missouri. I'm not going to say exactly where because you can figure that out on Google. We found this really cool um, fungus. I can't really call it a mushroom because it's multiple funguses at the base of one of these uh, oak trees that's, well this one's probably not, well this might be a hundred years old. It's pretty tall. But uh, it's a pretty cool little forest that we've got not too far away from uh, Kansas City where we're at because we're going to be shooting local for a while because of what's going on in the world and uh, hopefully you can find some more cool things back here. So this one, it's three bracketed shots and I'll put the information up next to the photograph. So not far away from the cool fungus, we got this little patch, not even, I wouldn't call it a patch. It's probably a couple dozen of these, uh, I, they look like lilies to me, that have fully bloomed and the blossoms have formed like a parachute with the, the seeds falling out. And I've got this one isolated against the green background, which I'm trying to blur out as best I can with the my 70 to 300 at about f4 and I bracketed this one because I really want just the flower to show through I wish I had a little bit better light but unfortunately it's fully overcast today this was more of a scouting trip but you know sometimes you get a couple keepers when you're out looking for new places to photograph so um, we're gonna keep walking the trail see what else we can find <music>
So one thing to know about photographing in Missouri is we have insane humidity. Think of our humidity like trying to shoot out in the cold. You don't want to just throw something in a cold bag or back into a cold house with high humidity because you will fog up your lens. Heck, just putting your lens cap back on while the camera is out of the bag will fog up the lens. This is the problem with not shooting enough lately. Um, I did that. Luckily, I was able to wipe it all off. It actually came off. Didn't fog up the inside of the lens. So, not too bad. We are definitely gonna come back to this location, hopefully when we have some better light. A little less cloud would have been nice. We would have had more directional light coming in through the tree canopy, hitting some things that we saw. There's quite a few things back here to photograph, which is great, because I need something close to home to, to deal with. It's about an hour drive. It's not too bad. It could be worse. So we're still making our way around on the trail and on the loop here. I keep looking down because there are mole trails all over the place and I don't want to fall. So, wow. There may be an apileated woodpecker back here or a rather large woodpecker. I don't know if the microphones pick that up, but often the direction over there, which I'm gonna to pan to right now, often that direction, we just heard a large woodpecker. And Missouri does have woodpeckers. You hear them? I hope you heard them. That would be, that would be awesome. Um, he's probably way off the trail. But uh, we're gonna keep walking and uh, we'll see what we see. Fireflies in the great state of Missouri, the Show Me State, which we'll be showing you throughout this series, Photographing Missouri. If you're going to come to the state of Missouri and go to any of the locations that I share with you, please keep in mind the practice of leave no trace. Leave it better than you found it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for future notifications of videos. We'll see you next time.